Hi guys, it's Crystal with Design Bundles. Today we're going to be making this super cute Santa tray. So we're over here on Design Bundles. This is the file I'm using. We're gonna take it over to Cricut Design Space and make it. Now this is gonna come in several different files. I've already got them all uploaded. So you're gonna have your file that has your cup rings. You're gonna have your file that has you know, your arrows. You're gonna bring them in. You could try to bring them all in at one time, but there's so many pieces that it's gonna down Cricut I will tell you that right now so what I do is I bring in each file pick what I'm wanting out of it and then I delete the rest and then I bring in the next file like I'm doing now so I'll say okay I want to keep the carrot get rid of the rest and that way um, I'm not bogging down Cricut so I highly recommend you guys do that now also keep in mind keep out a couple pieces so if you don't know which deer Santa you want to use keep a couple of those um, I do you will notice here in a minute I change my rings I'll go back and get another one here in just a second this file takes up the most time the one that has the small pieces but uh, you could do this on the big wooden trays you could do this on those big round wooden ones you could do it on a regular glass plate I just thought this little tray was super cute you can do iron on with this so you could do like those placemats um, you could do these you could take all these little pieces and use them on other things as well You can make t-shirts whatever with these files But um, I also forgot to mention to tell you guys the big square that I have in the background is the size of my serving tray So what you'll want to do is you know so if it's a circle do a circle so if it's a plate you know figure out that size so that way you know your area of you know how big of these designs you can make so at this point i'm just playing around with it and figuring out now the exact placement so i figured out all the pieces i wanted to use so now i'm just figuring out the exact placement i want all of those to go and then the last thing i bring in is the arrows so i thought it would be easier to get everything situated and then play around with different arrows and figure out which ones i want so once you got that ready to go all you're gonna do is double check each file and make sure everything is attached so that way it will cut together and then um, you can either select all of this and have it cut at one time or do it individual I'm gonna have mine do it individual as you can see here I've already cut it all out I've went ahead and put on transfer tape on each one of these just because it was so time consuming there's a lot of small stuff for me since this was a small tray highly recommend you stick with something a little bit bigger because i had some real small font here but um all you're going to do is simply you know apply this down so you're just going to make sure that your tray is clean so for example i'm using more of a plastic tray so you definitely would want to use alcohol first and then i'm just going to go one by one applying these down now my background here for my tray was a little bit too busy i think so definitely stick with a solid so if you were going to do a tray like this stick with one that's you know a solid white red you know just one solid color instead of like this plaid you would definitely be able to see the design a whole lot better so all i'm doing is just placing everything down i made one of these for my nieces last year and i applied their name so you could do that and make it a little bit special um, give it as a gift or um, simply set it out this year for Santa. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.